And then I want to say thank you to the Spencer Foundation. Uh, it's certainly an honor to uh, be up here uh, at the signature event of this great organization. You know, um, it's been my belief that talent and education are the key to the future of our industry and our profession, and that uh, the Spencer Foundation has done as much to promote that as any organization has. Said we're here to honor Serena Mog and David Zercher, two individuals who have given time and resources to further grow our industry. Tonight we also celebrate the Spencer Educational Foundation's mission, which is to fund the education of tomorrow's risk manager, risk management and insurance industry leaders. The foundation was established 33 years ago by the Atlanta chapter of the Risk Insurance Management Society to honor the late Robert Spencer, who was a risk manager and a former president of REMS, and was a great advocate of risk and insurance education. Since its founding, and due in part to the continued generosity of many of you here in the audience, we have awarded more than $4.7 million in undergraduate and MBA scholarships. I'm a senior at St. John's University and will be graduating in December of 2013 with a degree in risk management and insurance. I would like to extend a heartfelt thanks to everyone here tonight, as well as the Spencer Educational Foundation and ACUSA. Your generosity and support has had an incredible impact on my education, as well as my future in this industry. My name is Gisela Scotto, and I want to sincerely thank the Spencer Educational Foundation for financially assisting me in my pursuit of a graduate degree from New York University School of Continuing and Professional Studies. It is organizations like this one that assist students like me to pursue a risk management degree while lessening the financial burden associated with this endeavor. I also want to thank the Spencer Educational Foundation. I'm incredibly honored by this recognition of my contribution to the industry. Let me talk a bit about, you know, talent. Now, if I ask people here in the audience to give me a raise of hands as to who ended up in the industry by accident, Fine. because I know the answer, it would be at least two thirds in here that would raise their hand. And, you know, to me, that's startling. Oh, our products and services touch literally every aspect of human endeavor from the most fundamental to the most complex, yet we attract people by accident. You know, every year the Fortune magazine actually publishes a survey about, you know, the, the, of uh, graduating MBA students and they ask them where they want to go to work and Google has been the number one company for the last couple of years and they have been in the top three for some time and, um, you know, I went actually back and looked at it and I just, just think in your mind how many insurance companies made that top 100 list? The answer is none. None. That is just disappointing and astonishing. We are an industry that offers such wonderful opportunities for people, both in terms of professional and personal development. There, there is nothing accidental about how Google goes after talent and brings them into the organization. And I think as an industry, we can learn from that. And if we want to master the challenges of the future, that's going to be and continue to be very important to us. So we are preparing today's students for jobs that don't exist yet. They're going to be using technology that hasn't been invented yet to solve problems that we don't even know are problems yet. I mean, this is, I would say, have we kept pace with the industry, with the, with the world, how it's changing? I would challenge us that we didn't keep pace with that. And this is something we have to overcome. And I said that before, we have to find a way to get comfortable with, understand, and really find solutions for our clients and not shy away from risks, which we tend to typically do. So we can participate in the, uh, in the growing economy. So, um, and 
that is why I'm so supportive also of the Spencer Foundation because the work that they're doing and the investment they make in education is going to benefit us as an industry. And I just want to thank you all again for your support. Let's make sure we attract the right talent to our industry. Let's not make us accidental, right? And so we can really master all the challenges that are going to be coming our way. Thank you. I feel uh, really blessed that in the last 10 years of my career, I could become exposed to the insurance industry. You know, when you grow up as a banker, you never really think too much about insurance. Uh, all of the risks that are ahead of you and all the risks that are behind you in the insurance industry, well, when you were a banker, you know, bankers are kind of cocky, and uh, you may have noticed. And uh, they all think that, you know, all you do when you're when you've got a customer and you are, are underwriting a loan, you just say, well, you've got insurance for that, don't you? And no one really understands, at least none of the bankers do, what it takes to really underwrite that risk. So um, in, in, in all of that, I learned to appreciate and to uh, understand how important it is for us to continue to foster new blood in this business. And that's why I, <clears throat> became more dedicated to recognizing that we really need to bring more, more people into this business, people like, people like the young people we saw, we, taught, we saw tonight, and we need to bring people in that are, that are trained and that are educated to really understand this business and understand the various facets of this business. And that's why uh, I remained dedicated to the Spencer Foundation because in the end, it's all about the future, and it's all about how we can all work together uh, to uh, make this industry the great industry that it is. So thank you very much. I appreciate this honor. I appreciate the opportunity to have worked with so many of you.